Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 9 of my FX 172nd scale Shackleton AEW2 build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell, that'd be brill. Thank you. First things first, I have to apologise for not doing much over the last few weeks, but real life has kicked in as we've had Covid in the house, a bereavement and a long haul up to Dundee. I'll be getting a couple of videos done this week, but then Mrs. Model is off for two weeks, so it's time for summer jaunts around the place. So this will be it for a while, probably until September. Anywho, going back to the trip to Dundee, while I was there, I decided to enter the trigger into the competition. There's the pictures. And guess what? Only went and won first place in its class. So I'm dead chuffed with that one. Right, now I've stopped blowing the old trumpet, let's get back to the shack build, shall we? To begin this week, I'm going to be fitting what I believe are the diesel sniffers. Apparently, these were used to sniff, sniff out diesel exhaust from, yep, you guessed it, diesel subs, funnily enough. Anyway, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. we go that's the sniffers sorted hmm that certainly has many different connotations does that word sniffers anywho I digress so let's move on next we're going to be prepping the tail wheel bay doors and the flaps ready for spraying so let's get those cracked That's the flaps and gear doors prepped for spraying. Now to move on to some spraying. I'm using Alclad's Desert Pink ALCE 024 to give variation under the grey colour. So here we go with that. Okay, doing these squiggles isn't working and I'm getting pissed off. The heat is getting to the paint and me. I tried adding more thinners but it was evaporating as fast as anything. Then I had a light bulb moment. I bought something about a year ago but I've never used it. I keep meaning to so here's the ideal time to use it. So we use this, whatever it's called, to make squiggles. Here we go with that. Oh, for fuck's sake, why not just chuck enamel thinners all over your wing, you tit? Oh. Anyway, this is where the heat came in. I gently 
popped it to one side and let the thinners evaporate. And luckily enough, there was absolutely zero damage. That was a bit of a result. Anyway, let's crack on. God, that has saved us so much time. It took me less than two minutes to do that wing surface. Going in close with the airbrush and drawing all those squiggles, that would have taken me about seven to ten minutes to do that surface. Anywho, let's get everything else done, shall we, in one foul swoop. So, here we go with the other wing, the fuselage and everything else. There we have it, all done in under 10 minutes, which has probably saved us at least 50 minutes and a lot of stress. Next up we'll sort out the red on the props and where to put the masking tape, so here we go with that.
there we have the props ready for the red. Next up, we're going to cut some foam up and pop it into the wheel wells to protect what we've already done. So let's crack on with that, shall we? Okay, now we've filled those holes with foam, let's get on with some spraying. I'm using Vallejo Dark Sea Green 71.053 highly diluted approximately 70% thinners to 30% paint with about 12 psi in the airbrush so let's crack on with that oopsie this is me realizing that I hadn't done the end of this with the thingy jobby shady spray thing anyway let's carry on shall we move on nothing to see Right, we've done three thin coats there. I don't want to overdo it, so we'll leave it to dry properly overnight. Once I came back to it, I found it quite rough and realized that the paint was drying before hitting the model. So I decided to add a few drops of my homemade paint retarder and put another coat down, mixed approximately the same as before, but with the added four or five drops of paint retarder in it and it worked an absolute treat. As you can see, the final coat of the sea green was a pretty wet coat, so we'll leave that overnight and see how that turned out. That'll be in the next episode. Anyway, to finish off this episode, we'll get the prop sprayed red. I'm using Vallejo Red 70.926. Again, highly thinned, 60% thinners to 30% paint to 10% paint retarder. I found adding a few drops in this heat really helps a lot it stops the paint drying before it hits the model anyhow let's get this red laid down shall we
there we have the props sprayed. I did three light coats as the paint was quite thin and we'll see how they come out in the next episode when we'll take off the masking tape. Anywho, this seems like a good a place to end. So thank you for watching episode nine. If you want to see what happens in episode 10, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.